It is the Halloween season, so it is time for some horror movies. Oh, yes. What better director to kick off Halloween with than Uva Bowl himself? We are watching Alone in the Dark. That's not what I was going to guess, but okay. I am All super right. excited for this. We're continuing the video game adaptations that he did oh, in the mid-2000s. I didn't know that. That makes my inner nerd very happy. Have you played this game? I, I'm aware of it. It's a yeah, survival aware. horror video game. Yeah. Never heard of it. Never played it. Don't know it. Yeah. I got nothing. Then we'll see if you like I've it. I've never seen it, but uh, I've heard stuff about it. So, And it was sent to us by Phil Genesek and The Beers. The Beers from Michael Toten, Zombie Dust, Undead Pale Ale. Well, that's appropriate. Mm. Yes. So the Almost theme. Like, I was saying Like you it. planned it. So strange. Oh, uh, there um, is some professionals quality that goes <laughs> <laughs> This is a novel. <laughs> this is a, this is, woo. I have no idea if this is the video game or not. I, I really don't know. That is the worst text scrawl woo! opening a movie I've ever read. Well, shoot. It, it starts in 67, then it goes back 10,000 years. Now it's back in normal time. It says we don't know what happened to the Indian tribe, yeah. even though they said something came through. Yeah. I think we know what happened to the tribe. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Holy. Wow. Oh, okay. So I wasn't even paying attention to the story. I was just distracted by the wall of text. Then a guy who studied the Native Americans was shut down, so now he's experimenting on orphan children. <laughs> what does that have to do with the gate? We're going to find out. It's not about a few children. It's about the future of our species. What? Mm. It's not about a few kids. <laughs> he's convincing the nun to sacrifice orphans. <laughs> yes. It's just a few kids. And it sounds like she's considering it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's very Christ-like, mm -hmm. right? Like the children are being sacrificed to save humanity. I mean... Yeah, that's what this is. Yeah. Christ-like. Yeah, that's... I don't know what church you went to growing up. But... <laughs> <laughs> Their beds were empty. Every one of them. They just... So she's lying to the cops yes. why the kids are missing. Oh. Oh, okay. Christian Slater, excellent. He's famous. You eat cheese with dinner. My mommy says that cheese gives you nightmares. Who is your mother? Yeah, your mom's an idiot. I think <laughs> vampires and ghosts aren't real. She says that there's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. You that kid much. that kid was waiting for him to wake up, just like vibrating so he could talk to someone. Yeah. Cause mom drank a bottle of wine. She's like, I'm sleeping. <laughs> if I was my kid, I'd be drinking too. My name is Edward Carnby, and I'm here to protect you from the things you don't believe. Uh, uh, okay, so he's some kind of cult detective or something. Speaking of uh, strange and unusual, a cab has been following us since we left the airport. How could he possibly know that cab had been following from the airport? He hasn't turned around yet. No. He can't see any mirrors. Why do you start running in the first place? Yeah. If I pick someone up and they're like, we're being followed, it'd be like, so? Yeah. Who are you? Yeah, not my why, problem. Why are we being followed? What's your story? I wouldn't just floor it <laughs> and drive through a market. Yeah. <laughs> Stay here, I'm sacrificing you. <laughs> Stay here, I'm gonna save myself. <laughs> what? what? Why? Why is he running? Didn't he? He, he clearly was, wants to kill them. He was chasing them. Now he's running. The movie looks good. Though. Uh, it actually looks pretty good. Sure. Uh, I don't. The stories. Is what? That, oh yes. <laughs> That's what he was. Uh, <laughs> he had to get to higher ground to drop the hammer. <laughs> Which didn't seem to do much. No. Damn. Is Christian Slater supernatural? Well, I uh hope. -huh. Based on that little story we got in the beginning? Maybe. Whoa. No! Oh, okay. Wow. That was, that was slick. Okay. No, no one else reacted. One reacted. Oh, they just keep working. He loves his bullet time. Oh, uh, it's... It's, it's, kind of, it's fun. It's way better than it was in House of the Dead. 
Finally, a reaction. Well, one shot's normal in this mm-hmm. part of town. Well, wow, that's what I was, I was yeah. gonna say. I mean, Two or three, we should probably. Now see there's cover. a gunfight. Yeah. Uh, where is he going? I mean, that's Just not that bad. Oh. Run to the fish. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I should do about as much as a hollow point. Final. Mm-hmm. Why did that kill? Uh, and maybe it's the fish. Descending aorta. So you think the guy's a fish allergy? I think it's fish. <laughs> yeah. That'd be good though. Wait. That's why I knew it was that. <laughs> See, I said it was a girl. Tara Reed from Sharknado fame, and maybe some other things. Yeah, some other movies no one's ever seen. No. <laughs> it's an ancient Native American civilization. They're like the super advanced culture. The security guard knows what's up. It says it's always to be open by doctor. He's also telling us what we heard and what we read already. She's the assistant curator. We have artifacts coming in from all around the world until Hudgens gets back. How many times have we said you just put glasses on these women? Smart. Scientist. Glass ro- gla- glasses. <laughs> she has glasses on. Glasses on her. She's smart. Put a lab coat on her. Now she's a scientist. She I mean, do she, both. She has her hair in a bun. And she has a collared shirt. What else do you want from her? Exactly. I mean, she could be a librarian or just super smart. Either one. Okay, this uh, is... I'm kind of curious nice. how convoluted this plot is going to get, because if that yeah. be- beginning was any indication, yeah. it's going to be a mess. Yeah. It's already pretty out there. I don't think uh, Uva wrote this. Oh, no? I just directed? Think, I don't think so. I think he just directed it. It looks good. It does, so far. House of the Dead looked good. It was ridiculous. But that was like, a fun movie. The lighting and everything was yeah. the boobs. The lighting on the boobs was excellent. You know what? We uh, have not had boobs yet. And in House of the Dead, I feel like we've had like six pairs already. It was front loaded. Mm, yeah, yeah, it was. Is this his place? I don't know. These, yeah, I, this sucks. That's a bed. Huh. It's a cool place. I love in movies when they're like, oh, well, I live in this <laughs> dumpy warehouse. Yeah. I'd love to live in that warehouse. Yeah. We've seen that so many times. It's just dusty. And it's the biggest, coolest looking place. Yeah. They have a ton of furniture. Yeah. Oh. Pulled that right out of the bread? You know that's not bread, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. It just looks like a oh. bread. <laughs> it's a little bready looking. <laughs> yes. Mm. Pam, what does that say? Really needed her here for this one. We do. Yeah, I can't understand any of this. Don't open it! Um. Okay, who the hell is this? this? Does it awaken all the orphans? Orphan attack! Is your orphan sense going off again? (laughs) Yeah? Yeah! Wow. Okay. Orphans unite! (laughs) Oh. Oh, geez. What year did this come out? VHS tapes. <laughs> I thought it said 2005. Uh, yeah. Wow, okay. 2005? And it's a city. I mean, like, I guess there were still... The VHS tapes were handwritten. This cracks me up. Oh, her glasses? And her bun? <laughs> her being a scientist or whatever. <laughs> like, what the... You don't buy it? Oh, that's just hilarious casting. Like, I understand she was a big well, name at this yeah. point. That's why he put her in the movie, but... <laughs> yeah, as the scientist. It's a little hard to buy. Or curator or whatever. What? How did he know that was there? Oh. Damn. Got my... Is that 10 millimeter socket? It's a shell casing. <laughs> Is that Stephen Dorff? better be good, Miles. Uh, so, we're getting some awfully strange... It is! Yeah! The villain in Blade. What's the situation? Oh, see, I don't know names. Steven Dorf. His car's in the garage. It's like he just got up in the middle of the night and walked out. There's a life lesson. Never marry an orphan. So you don't know what superpowers they have latent in, in them. You don't expect them to be Manchurian candidates. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you should. You should. They're orphans. Yeah. Can't trust them. Right. This woman does not own a bra. <laughs> not one. <laughs> Why aren't you making eye contact with me? It's <laughs> Stop following me. He just looked down. Mm. Yes, he did. A couple times. It's a sweet coat he's rocking. The coat's pretty badass. That's got to be from the video game, right? Don't know. All cool people wear trench coats like that. That was Columbine. They ruined it. Oh, ruined it. yeah. No, 
it's been a while. You gotta do me a favor. I haven't heard from you since you left 713. 713 was the secret research? Yeah, yeah, I think that's where Dorf works. I thought they were shut down. Oh. Right? Isn't that what it said in the beginning? That's what they tell 713 people. 713 was shut down? So that's why the guy started doing research on orphans? In a gold mine or something like that? It's a lot of reading. I... It was so much I forgot a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> Same, the same nun. Nun. Lying sack. Of this shit. is how orphans dress. That's how the Catholics dress their twelve foot tall orphans. I mean, it's, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's not like she's really worried about how they dress, considering she gives them up for sacrifices. <laughs> she's not trying to raise them to be good kids. Yeah. <laughs> Hope he has to fight her at some point. Ah. Like just beat her ass. Like finds out what she was involved. And they just square off. I mean, I think that would be great. I don't know how you'd work that into the story. I mean, something's got to happen to her. And then she has up to nun. pay, so she's going to get shot or mm -hmm. killed by a monster, or Christian Slater's going to punch her in the face. Mm. You have a good memory, Carnby. It's all in the details, right? I'm trying to see where this would have been filmed. Oh, Canada. It feels Canadian. They're all different ages. How long have they been experimenting yeah. on orphans? Yeah. Yeah, you would think they'd be all within a couple of years. Or that one thing at 20? Because how often can she just lose track of orphans before yeah. someone's like, hey, wait a minute. This orphanage is uh, <laughs> been different so well. ages. You know, they could have been from like 5 to 16 in the orphanage, right? I don't know how that works, actually. Yeah. Do they try to keep them in a certain age range to keep problems from arising? Like I wouldn't put a 5-year-old in a room with a 15-year-old. I wouldn't. But I also wouldn't sell them to scientists, so... <laughs> right. Who knows what happened in that orphanage? It's true. Oh, they love each other. She got a little coke bloat. Oh, <laughs> not... not Tara. Is uh, Rob trying to... Where do you just keep a giant mag light? Well, he has a giant jacket he on. He pulled that right... <laughs> he's got a killer hey. coat. You can fit all kinds of treats in there. Hey, he's fighting bad guys. He's He's got stuff in his pockets. So when he's walking, it's just like slamming against his leg. <laughs> That's a cool ass museum or set or whatever. Though. Very cool location. Mm -hmm. Very cool. I can't complain how this is shot. No. It's no Battlefield Earth with all the Dutch angles. Mm. But... Why are you walking so slow? Yeah. Why are you pulling a gun out? Again, he has endless pockets in this. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Where are these pockets? This is awesome. And you're right. How big are these pockets? Oh, oh. Oh. Predator. It disappears in the light? But you can see in the dark, or what was that? I have no clue. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, check Probably. his pulse. <laughs> his head, the back of his head's missing. <laughs> yeah, he might be okay. Hey. Maybe, maybe he had a heart attack. Back off, man. She's a scientist. <laughs> Uh-oh. Just a flesh wound. You better bang her quick before she turns. <laughs> yeah, 713, the government group. Am I just crazy, or were they disbanded? Maybe. I thought we saw that. I Maybe. thought, I thought, he, I thought we they were, were shut told down. that. They read that to us. And he had to move to an abandoned gold mine. Yeah. To study orphan, orphan stuff. Orphan creatures. Sometimes it doesn't look bad. Sometimes it looks like 2005. <laughs> yeah. It's not as bad as I would have expected. No, no, no. Full security suit for the area. Miles! It's dwarf time, baby. Yep. <laughs> it's dwarfing time. Need your help. Get him out of here, Marco. I asked very nicely. Oh! Ooh, you don't want to do that. You don't mess with the dwarf. Oh. <laughs> dwarf your ass. <laughs> this place is locked down. No one gets in here. I have to get my stuff. All right. Like, don't go back there. But I have to. I have stuff back there. Okay. Yeah, but don't ahead. don't die. You tell me he was an agent. His records are so classified they're practically invisible. Mm -hmm. So there's a parasite that was keeping him alive. Is that what was cut in half? Yeah. Looks, yeah. It looks like. Oh. Like he, he killed the parasite and it killed the host. Oh, I see. Uh oh. What? Looks like he has a oh. symbiotic relationship, too. Hmm. She's doing paperwork? There's some monster running around the museum. I think you can go home. 
There was a firefight and destroyed half the museum. <laughs> like, I have to get this done. She's the worst assistant curator I've ever seen. It was electrocuted when I was a kid. I must have killed it. You remove it? Do you see where it is? I just <laughs> leave it in there. You seem okay. I also like that this scanner is like here. But it's scanning his But it's get <laughs> He has entire torso. So I'm guessing that's an x-ray? He's just like nuking him right now? Oh yeah, he's oh, cooking yeah. him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So he just has one of these monsters in his office. And his yeah. assistant curator has no idea. Yeah. She's just never been in his office. Well, she's out curating. That was a pretty big vial of that monster. That was a lot. <laughs> sort of urban infiltration is unheard of. Have you isolated any weaknesses? That's in the autopsy suite? <laughs> A scientist is prepared. Dr. Hutch Oh! Oh! That's one of your nightmares? You know where this started? It's a very specific nightmare. This started when I was a kid in that Star Wars episode. The Star I saw. Trek Next Gen. Star Trek, yeah. Yeah, with the, with the worms. It started with that. I know what you're talking about. I was at my aunt and uncle's and they were babysitting me and I didn't want to watch it. My uncle was like, it's fine. And I saw that and oh. I was horrified that was like the a way out there episode super gross horrified. super horrifying there's a lot of lamps stay there yeah that's very interesting a lot of china balls mm -hmm. yeah wow. he's got a lot of lights yeah he went to goodwill and just bought all the lamps <laughs> he like, cleaned them out i'll take your lamp section <laughs> do you deliver to gross warehouses <laughs> we only ship them in giant crates it's not a problem. I'll just leave them laying around when I'm done. Oh, wait. Oh. How did Car get in there? Oh, Damn. she's a crack shot. Yeah, she's great. Why did he push her out of the way so he could karate kick the guy when she was murking everybody? Yeah. I, okay. Okay. Wait, so the bullets uh, do. Wait, work. it's dead. Oh, so why didn't uh, the other. Ah, oh. uh, that was easy. Yeah, okay. I would just carry that gun with me all the time. Yeah. In that, your trench coat. Those, yeah, we know it fits in your pocket. Fit so easily. You can still bring some snacks and a water bottle. Yeah. You probably fit Tara Reed in there. <laughs> For safekeeping. <laughs> Doesn't he have a flashlight on the thing? Oh, oh. Mm. Oh, here comes the rock. Wow. <laughs> this is entirely lit by gunfire. Yeah. I really can't tell what's going on, can you? Me neither. People are shooting at things. Is this still his place? I, I think, oh, there's all the lamps. I didn't know these guys were in there. They were in the shipping crates. Oh, they ruined his bed? Well, at least half of his lamps. Oh, now you have dwarf all over your apartment. Jesus. <laughs> Just dwarfing all over the place. Aaron, you seem like you have to say something, but you don't want to. I'm trying to figure out too much. Uh. Like, is it a warehouse? Is it's a movie warehouse? where Tara Reid is a scientist. I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> forgot, I forgot where we started. Sorry. <laughs> oh! Mm. Whoa! Oh, oh! oh. Severed his spine? <laughs> they are murking these orphans left and right. Oh, oh. oh okay. Oh. Whoa! Wow. Uh, okay. It, Damn. Whoa. Some serious orphan foo. Finding a rando soldier. Yeah, who the hell's that? <laughs> you know Send him in first. It's like, we need to have a martial arts scene, but we only have Steve <laughs> Dorf and Christian Slater. <laughs> um, and Tara Reid. So. Right, find me an Asian guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know martial arts? He's like, uh, yeah. Actually, I do. <laughs> She she was, she was looking that way. That's it. Demands playing to her. <laughs> In science. Why aren't they traveling as a unit? Like why split up, spread out, whatever? Do you see how many orphans are attacking them, dude? Yeah. Yeah, but everyone knows the best way to kill the maximum amount of orphans is to stay as a right. team. Concentrate your fire on the orphans. I'm starting to get the 
feeling 713 kind of sucks. I mean, they're ki- well, well, that uh, wasn't uh, a great uh, plan. Uh, yep. What did he just kill that guy with? Like a broomstick? Probably a lamp. Is this the movie he told me they set the record for most amount of blanks shot? Oh, I don't know. I think this is oh, it. Oh, because they are going they're, full auto they're going all the time. They're going off. Converging on the location. You have been assigned field command of the operation. Does that body armor have muscles? Yeah. Yeah. Helps it's you. Like Batman's. Mm-hmm. Helps you move faster. Tanya Goldmine. Tanya Mine. I grew up in that area. Why are we going there? They shut it down. Wait, so we're now learning about shit that, again, we were told in the beginning. Uh huh. Text scroll. Yeah, we didn't need to know any of that. No, we didn't need that at all. They're actually showing us, not just telling us. <laughs> wow. Uh, why is she there? She's Tara Reed. She's the assistant curator. Yeah, she doesn't seem to know anything about what's going on at all, right? Like, right, no. She's I a mean, crack shot. So <laughs> she is a beast. Well, okay, that's I would. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And she's wearing a midriff, so. Eh. I love how she's smashing those fools. Yeah. And he pushes her out of the way <laughs> to kick it. Uh, <laughs> that was that's your favorite scene so far, isn't it? That was it? awesome. Why is that thing not up and running? It's arrived here, sir. The generator will be online shortly. Since it's a generator, how hard is it to Yeah. Yeah. Maybe maybe hit the maybe, button. Maybe they can't find the cord. In that case he should uh he probably does work for the government. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. It's quite a mine. That looks huh. like a fairy tale. It's also lit at the end. Yep. Is this guy constructing the generator? Yeah. Yeah, this is supposed to be like special. Oh, they're special. Agent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what's the goal of the enemy? To find out about the gate? The ancient Indians had discovered. Said they hadn't closed in time and then they disappeared, but apparently it was closed somehow, even though they're... Yes, yeah, so you don't know either? They're all dead. <laughs> the yeah. Kid. Yeah. So we're done with the zombie orphans? Uh, I think they killed all the orphans. Think we're done with that? Yeah, the or- orphan murder is done. <laughs> I, I don't know. So we still have spinal parasites and Native American lore. Oh, it's a Stargate. <laughs> it is a Stargate. <laughs> we, we... Okay. And the monsters, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have Which monsters, too. Came through the gate 10,000 years ago. Yeah. And have done nothing and since. They've just been chilling. The muscle body armor is... It's amazing. Perfect. I don't know what anatomy they're mimicking, but <laughs> it's, unique. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's unique. The 36-pack. It's unique. He's got a lot of monsters. So maybe he's already opened the gate. Uh, that's a lot of monsters. Much interference. Satellite intel is compromised. Tracking multiple Xeno clusters in the area. Xeno clusters? Oh. Yeah. Like no! Xenomorphs? No! Whoa! Oh. Pulled oh. the pin on his grenade. Why did he do that? Took out the generator. I don't know. Oh, he got. He had the worm. Yeah, yeah he was wormed. Right. He was wormed. <laughs> Took that whole time to set up that generator. <laughs> These are xenomorphs. And this is aliens. They're xenos. Yeah. It's moving all over the place. Boo-boo. Boo-boo. Oh, Boo-boo. Those, t- those tires are really gonna yeah, they <laughs> slow them down. Yeah. Is that an automatic gun? Yeah, a minigun. Sentry no. gun. Yeah, like a sentry gun. So this is straight up aliens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Oh. oh. Oh my. This might have been the scene he was talking about. Oh, minigun! Holy shit. Wow. Oh, awesome. This is definitely the scene he was talking about. That looks really cool. Hang on. Hang on. Tara, you idiot. She doesn't have her glasses on. Yeah, that's true. Jason. <laughs> lay down, lay down. Far, get over here. I'm gonna keep pressure on the wound. Jeez, just. Keep jiggling that bone around. Yeah. You okay? <laughs> Your bone seems broken. <laughs> no, not the guy. Didn't we already learn if you shoot them like two or three times, they're dead? At yeah. least that was true in his apartment. It says once you make it down here alive, you're already dead. Once you make it down here alive, you're already dead? Wow, so they're idiots back then, too. <laughs> Are you 
you kidding me? She keeps holding it with She's a... She's strong, yeah. too. Well, I mean, she's Tara Reid. Mm. They remake Commando. She could be Arnold. <laughs> I hope they do, and I hope she does, and it'll be better than the original. Can you do that? Make that happen. Be that dude in Predator 2 who just rails a giant thing of coke. He's like, oh, Scorpio's ready. Yes. <laughs> guys, guys She's awesome. like, Tara's ready. <laughs> That should have been in one of the Sharknados. It should have been. Uh, Face down in a pile of coke? Is that like behind the scenes or like in the movie? Uh, yeah, all of the above, man. All of the above. Go! Go! Watch your back. Who are they? They're monitoring the satellite uplink? I thought there were like people back at HQ watching the satellite. Give them the info. They said there was some kind of satellite interference, but I didn't oh. make out the rest. Huh. Yeah, I thought. Yeah, I thought that Spice Girl Satellites, was like typing, yeah. typing, <laughs> doing all the surveillance stuff. Yeah, Asian Spice said like satellites down, <laughs> switching to something. Looks like Spice Girl. <laughs> I think there was an Asian Spice. Wow! Damn oh. that kitchen oh. timer. <laughs> Very explosive. <laughs> hey, hey, we've seen microwave displays. Who is? Oh, oh, oh! Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. Put her down. She's still alive? You're gonna have to block that with how? Yeah, how do you put her down? Her brain's in half. Is this in the cave? Yeah, they hit the brick wall, then they went through the brick wall. Now there's an ancient Native American hospital. <laughs> <laughs> yep. With French doors and <laughs> Jason, what's going on? This writing is amazing. <laughs> Read some files. Tara's in the back, like, this is all dusty in the air. <laughs> She's like, they're just trying to find the Native American gate, guys. They found it. They found the Native American gate. <laughs> okay. With glass. Carved in metal. 10,000 years old. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. yeah. It's like a biohazard symbol, too. It's like, wait a minute, where's that thing I found that I gave you? I usually keep it in one of my no. mini pockets. No. Yeah. This is no. straight video game stuff. Yeah. You collected all yeah. the pieces yeah. and then... The curator has had enough. What? Oh, Why did don't get Terry excited. <laughs> 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 it's dwarfing time. Got him! Yeah! You got dwarfed. Uh oh. Well, now the door's open. Yep. That was a hell of an underhand throw. Yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Right through his rib cage. It's like one of those female softball pitchers. Huh. Just a big ass uh, cave. You, you just close the door and go back. It's like, ah, okay, no. Yeah, right. Why are we still seeing I thought it was like a supernatural gate. Right. No. It's like another yeah. world. It seems like just the inside of the mountain hall. Just a lair. Like, of you, lizard monsters. you could get there with a pickaxe and yeah, like really. a couple hours. Some dynamite. Are you gonna blow it up? Oh. Dynamite. Is that really? Just close the stupid door. Oh, of course. Oh, no. Well, I mean, well, that... why would you want to turn the power off before you close the door? <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, that, just oh the door. they just oh. slide shut. Problem, Problem solved. solved right? Yeah. Oh, well, that's nice. He's gotta sacrifice himself to save the world. He's an orphan. <laughs> Mighty orphan Power Rangers time. <laughs> You're not giving yourself much time. Yeah, for real. It's four seconds. Oh, I thought it was going to that the orphanage. No way. No way. <laughs> so when all those kids went missing from the orphanage, no nobody checked. checked the door right outside the front of the house. Oh. oh. And the nun was just feeding them into the cellar for, to the gates of hell. Just kicking them right down. The <laughs> yeah. Just this is Sparta, one after yep. the other. <laughs> Those cops are like, where do you think they went? No, I don't think they did. There's a lock on that door. They couldn't have gotten in there. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Like, man, what's down there? Oh, just a bunch of potatoes. That's where I do my canning. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, considering the size of this explosion, that guy is alive. He's very. He's, yeah, scared. considering they almost got wrecked. Yeah. He's okay. It's like he being inside a pipe bomb. He doesn't even have a burn. Oh, 
I hope, I hope he, I hope he punches the nun. I, I'm with you on this. That's all that's left, right? Yeah, nun punching. So she's like the boss. Oh, look oh. at that. Oh. Oh, she slit her wrist. Oh, oh that's that's, that's, that's good how boring. Catholics do, that's right? not gonna get you into heaven. She was already sacrificing children and knew about the demon things. Her yeah. slitting her wrist is the least. Yeah, of but her you concerns. say like so many hail marys and you're good. You're good. You're good to go. That's what I thought it was. Right. Oh. Wait. Evacuate what? the city? Evacuate the city. Huh? It's a very orderly evacuation. Must be in Canada. Everyone was like, sorry, sorry, sorry. Because they evacuated. I like how to show an evacuation. They have one car parked. Yeah, yeah who's this 40? dick? Yeah. One, one guy just lost his shit. Everyone else kept it together. <laughs> well, the fastest way to get out of the city is to park your car in the middle of the road and walk. What happened there? Did they not the actually... Headquarters? successfully blow up the mine? Did everything get out and eat everything? But do you think there'd be like blood and carnage everywhere? Uh, How long did it take them to walk here? Who made that crosswalk? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what the heck happened there? But like the Abkhani discovered, there's a price to pay for bringing darkness into the light. It said in the in the novel at the beginning yeah. that something came through the gate before they were able to close it uh, and they all disappeared. Oh. Oh, guess we gotta watch the sequel. Oh, well, okay. So all of Sign me up. 1% on Rotten Tomatoes, 2.4 on IMDb. Oh! Wow. Aaron was alone in the dark. So bad it's good. Can you make Brian go first? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh no, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> this this is hard. First of all, this looked like really good. It looked like a real movie. Yeah. It obviously, had money behind it. I couldn't make heads or tails of the story, and that was like big for me. I thought the action was shot kind of strangely. I, okay, there was enough elements that were kind of boring, but then there was a couple things that were cool. This this is really hard for me. This is right on the edge. I'm going to probably say no for me. All right. So that's my point because I'm confused and I get made fun of on this show for not understanding the rules, but I thought some was, I thought some of it was like, like decent. But some of were, it looked good. But yeah, a yeah. lot of it was pretty bad. And I didn't understand anything that was happening and what the Native Americans did. And... I really didn't follow it, so because of that, I feel like it's bad. But it thinks it's good, but it's bad. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Do you think this is so bad it's good? Did you enjoy it? Uh. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like pulling teeth every. <laughs> You guys know I love bad writing in these movies. I love incomprehensible stories, dialogue that makes you scratch your head, so I am all in on this. This is horribly written. Horribly written. I mean, when you get a novel at the beginning, you know you're in for a good time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I dug it, man. I actually want to watch the second one. I don't, oh, oh, so do I. I don't think he directed it. Oh. Um, which means it probably won't be as cool, but I, he's two for two for me. <laughs> this one is not nearly as fun oh, as, uh, no. oh, yeah. um, no. House of the Dead was. Yeah, House of the Dead was great. I still thoroughly enjoyed this. That was a high-end monitor in 2005. Was it? Was it really? It was flat. An, an LCD? My roommate got an LCD in 2005. It had the horrible ghosting, though. Oh, it was terrible. Yeah, it, was. it looked so much worse than my monitor, but it was cool as shit. I mean, it was, it was only this thick. Yeah, it was only six inches deep. 